Well, hello there. Real excited to be here. I'm Dr. John Kempter, the CEO and owner of Kempter Holistic Dentistry. I'm here with my brother, Dr. Eric Kempter, our uh, Director of Operations, and also with our newest associate, Dr. Aaron Wilbanks. Hi. Dr. Aaron is from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. She went to both to, uh, in undergrad and also dental school at LSU and um, studied biology in undergrad, also with a minor in business. Uh, and we met several years ago, about three years ago, through the IAOMT. And Dr. Aaron is one of the very few dentists out there, dental students, I'll go there, that um, had really uh, foresight to know that there's something off in the dental world, the dental industry. And I remember several years ago sitting with her and just hearing her passion and, you know, immediately remembering what it was like for me uh, just shortly after dental school to feel uh, like there's something that's just not right. So, so how did you, it's, it's pretty rare for a student to, to feel that way and to kind of seek this out. So why don't you tell everybody and, and just exactly how did you end up here? Yeah, so I've always had a pretty curious mind. Um, I'm naturally a very questioning person, and I like to figure things out for myself. So upon early in my dental school training, um, one of the biggest red flags to me I thought was so weird, we get to dental school, and one of the first things that we learn how to do is place amalgam fillings. Um, so this was a shock to me. I didn't even realize that amalgams were still being placed. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we learn first thing is, you know, these amalgams are 50% mercury, but they are safe. The mercury is inert. The ADA um, says that they're completely safe and there's no scientific evidence to show otherwise. So this didn't really sit right with me. Um, so, you know, we're forced to place them, drill them out with no safety precautions at all. Um, so I started kind of doing my own research with that um, to see if there was any other resources out there um, that kind of question that mindset. So I came across the IAOMT, um, which is where we met. So I joined as a student member, um, found all their resources about the dangers of mercury, and um, actually went to a few of the conferences. And so that's where we met. And when I got there, my mind was blown. I couldn't believe the science that was involved. And that was one of the biggest things that I really took away from the academy at that first meeting I went to that their their slogan was show me the science and so I really went back to school with an invigorated sense um, so I was very passionate and I knew that this was the only type of dentistry that I wanted to practice it's like uh, it, it you know just for you folks at home and you know she came to the meetings she's actually one of the one of two three-time recipients of the student scholarship uh, so in other words we bring them we bring students into the IOMT conferences uh, it's the committee that I run uh, for the IOMT. And so uh, Dr. Wilbanks here was, was, got to attend three meetings uh, through that scholarship program. So she got to see not only the basic you know, understanding of biologic dentistry, but all the other lectures that were there that, on, on other interesting topics. So um, it's a pretty, you know, it, I think it's pretty interesting. You came back three times. It wasn't even that you came to that first time. Mm -hmm. And then you were like, okay, well, this is a bit too much for me. Um, so you, you know, obviously I'm a little bit closer to dental school than, than my brother here. Uh, so what was it like going back after that first time when you had that, like this, this opening moment of, wow, you know, like there's all this science here and they don't even talk about it. What was it like for you to go back? It was good and bad for different reasons. Good in the fact that I had been feeling like I was in a rut for a little bit in dental school, kind of questioning, is this for me? Do I want to do this? Um, you know, the traditional drill, fill, and bill method, it was just not something that I felt like I was gonna be fulfilled in. Um, and so I felt so refreshed after that meeting, going back to school knowing that I would be able to be the, practi the practitioner that I wanted to be. Um, I would be able to be fulfilled. I would be able to make an impact in people's lives and not only just drill, bill, and fill, but really help people with their overall wellness. and. Um, you know, the, the mouth-body connection is so important and, you know, that's not emphasized enough in dental school. Our oral microbiome, that connection with the gut microbiome, everything starts in the mouth. And um, so I was just very excited and really just 
excited about all the different things that I could learn about. When I went to that meeting, it was like, not just about Mercury anymore. There were so many things that I needed to learn about and still do. Um, so that was good, but also the bad. Um, you know, I told a lot of my, my classmates about the science involved and there is some scrutiny there. Um, so that was probably the hardest thing to deal with. But um, other than that, like- Yeah, you don't want to mention that to any professors either. Right. It's a quick way to, to, to get a strong talking to from some higher ups in dental school. <laughs> yeah, and it, and it, and it does. It, it, I think to, for me, going outside of what I was told. Mm -hmm. You know, for me it was a little different than Eric and you, you guys in school, for you guys that don't know, Eric was the first student through the IOMT, we're a small group, the International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology. You can check them out at iaomt.org. Got some great info on the patient end, the doctor end, if you're a doctor out there. And I will mention they are having their conference this weekend. Um, and they are opening some uh, some virtual access to some of the lectures, uh, some of the more popular lectures for the, for the general public. So oh, if you guys are interested, go ahead and sign on to their website and just click the meeting tabs and you'll see the virtual access there. Cool, I didn't know that. So that, you know, for me, I, I found out about this, about alternative dentistry a year or so out of dental school. And it was through our grandfather who was getting sick with Alzheimer's and my deep dive on the connection of Alzheimer's and then mercury, like you then, it started to trigger me on chemistry from school and now this is in fillings and yeah, I thought about it back, you know, 2003 when I was in school and kind of just buried it because like a lot of others, back to what Dr. Aaron said, you know, the issue we have is when you step outside the box, there's, you're going against what you were told in school and whether or not that information is valid, a good percentage of the population listens. And so it's, it really is, uh, I commend you, as we talked yes. about before, being willing to speak up and being willing to question. And in the same respect, we're the practice that it, we're always going to listen. We're always going to listen to your questions and hear you and cater your needs towards your dental needs towards you specifically. So, Dr. Aaron, if you could help with, um, now you've become aware mm -hmm. of this, of biologic dentistry, you've, you've gone on and you've taken that huge step of not only going to the meetings, but going back to school and talking to your peers, knowing to a level now you've been scarlet lettered <laughs> and, and you know, <laughs> I just use that, I mean, you know, there's really not another way to say it, sure. it's like, cause I hate to say that, it's, um, and, but, so, what what excites you about coming here to Charlotte, to the Charlotte area, and coming to KHD and being a part of the practice? Yeah, so um, like they said earlier, um, we met at one of the first conferences that I went to, and um, I hit it off with Dr. John and Dr. Eric immediately. Um, I was so excited to pick their brain and um, learn about the knowledge that they've ha they've developed over the years. Um, so immediately they said, come on by the office, come out to Charlotte, let's fly you out here, let's, let's get you to shadow. So last year, last August, um, I came for a week and shot the office, Thank you. and I just felt right at home with me. Um, so the way that Dr. Eric and Dr. John practice, I really believe in, they really value their patients, they take their time, and one of the biggest things that stood out to me was that even though they are out of school, they are continuing their education nonstop. They are constantly, um, you know, updating their technology, learning new things, and I think that's super important. Um, so that really drew me here, and also I love the outdoors. And I'm from Louisiana. I love Louisiana, of course, but um, but North Carolina is such a beautiful state, and Charlotte's a really cool city. So. Um, not only is this practice amazing, um, so is the city, so I'm really excited to be here. You should be thankful Dr. John likes to buy new toys. Yeah. So it really turns out to be. Yeah. So touch on that with North Carolina. I know you you and, and your, your boyfriend, yeah. Bryson, he, you guys have seen some of the state now. I mean, yeah. what's the, talk a little about that if you can. Yeah, so um, my boyfriend, Bryson, his grandmother has a cabin up in um, the Waynesville, Maggie Valley area, so we we have visited twice this summer with Corona. We've had a little more opportunity to travel. So we've stayed there um, and absolutely love Pisgah National Forest. We've got to you know, play in there for a little bit. And um, I love hiking um, and try, I'm a 
I'm a big foodie too. I'm a vegetarian, but I love food. And so we love um, finding our new little spots here and just exploring. Cool. Got a dog, right? Yeah. Nice. Molly. She's a little rescue rat terrier mix. Sweet. She's my How old is she? She's six. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah. Well, Dr. Eric, you got a new dog just recently. I did. It's too, a bit right? bigger than your dog, I think, already. At two and a half months, I, we have a new dog, Murray, at home. And he's a uh, he's already 23 pounds or so at two and a half months. He's a uh, Bernie Doodle Great Pyrenees mix, so he's going to be a big boy. And I yeah. imagine my, my young daughters will be riding him like a pony at some point. Well, I'll be excited to, to meet size. him. Yeah, I'll be excited to meet him for that reason. And, uh, we have just children, so I don't have any. Have yeah. Own, so. um, well, and, and I think, you know, going really further with what Dr. Aaron said, I, I'm, I'm thankful that um, you see the, the, the quest of continued advancement. Um, we work even now, you know, we're, we're looking at the next avenue. I always go back to my, my uh, our other grandfather, Ed, he used to, he was an engineer and he used to say like, he didn't like doctors. Mm -hmm. And he, so he was one of my first dental patients at the dental school, <laughs> and and I think it was the day he had six dental impressions for his dentures, <laughs> and you know he's there like at the end of it, and I'm telling him, oh I know what it was actually, it was we I we had his implant surgery done, and the whole time I said, no you're not going to have bruising, grandpa, you're going to be fine, this is all great, and uh, then the next day he comes back to the post op and he's just bruised from like head to toe, and and he's like, doc, uh, he's like. John, don't be so optimistic. And you know what? You doctors, you're always practicing. And you know, there's like the, the negative engineer look at that, but the positive is we always are trying to advance. It's as I've learned over the years, it's needed. You're practicing dentistry. Yeah, and uh, absolutely. And and that practice is important. And I'm excited because how we're handling Dr. Aaron's advancement, you know, she is out of school. She went to one of the top schools in the country. And I'm completely confident in her coming in and doing general dental care. Yeah. And we really need that because with the advancement of what we're doing um, in our different modalities and the crossover that we're doing, uh, it's, it's just we, we want to make sure we're here for everyone. And so I'm very excited that Dr. Aaron's going to be teaming with us on comprehensive new patient care. She's gonna be able to do all of the advanced restorative dentistry that we do. And we're gonna, and, and basic surgeries, and we're gonna continue moving her forward and give her the cheat codes that the gray beard and the guy who's getting older have started to build. So you don't have any gray that I don't, yet. I'm actually you're, quite you're coming. It's, coming. It's, it's nice for so. us, uh, you were saying, just for the specialty stuff, to have, having somebody as highly skilled as, as Dr. Aaron uh, just allows us to, to get more advanced stuff here for you guys to offer us to offer for you the more that we develop some of the things that we we've got kind of cooking in the oven here um, so it just it's really a nice it's a luxury for us to have her here and we're so excited to have her in the office I'm full confidence I'm not even worried even in the slightest about it you guys at home are gonna love seeing dr. Aaron here at the office and I'm very excited to meet all of you um, I'm really thankful for this opportunity I really believe um, in this team and very excited for this journey. Hope you like kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys for tuning in, and we will have a lot more coming. I want you guys all to check out, uh, if you can, we're going to have in the next few days some new videos up on our website and also on the socials. They're going to be informational videos on the advanced treatments we offer, and we're going to have more from Dr. Aaron, some more specific deep dives in what she's doing passionately in the office as her start in the practice uh, begins. So have a wonderful weekend and uh, see you soon.